Hello everybody, Eli here, and welcome to the one year commemoration of Brain Engine. Uh, in this video, we're just going to look at the current state of the engine and stick around to the end because I have a big announcement. Before I show it off, I should explain that it's not exactly a game engine. It's what I like to call a metaverse framework, but it, it's not like that. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with Facebook or crypto. Think of it more like the seed from SAO. Um, a template that people can take and use to create uh, independent but connected virtual worlds. Kind of like a WordPress for VR. So, though I usually call it a game engine, uh, it's actually a framework of four different executables. The client, asset servers, runtime servers, and the editor. But why build all of this from scratch instead of using an existing game engine like Unity? It's because while it would make things easier at the start, we would then have to wait on that engine to add uh, new features, new headsets, all that sort of stuff. Um, and also we would still need to eventually code in our own in-game editor. It also allows us to optimize more for loading in assets at runtime, because anyone who has been to a large VR event with like more than 15 people knows that Current VR applications built in regular game engines are struggling very heavily with performance at the moment. Right now I have a start for three of the main executables that will be in use, but the two main ones I'm working on right now are the editor and asset server. Right now the editor is very bare bones because I only started working on it about three weeks ago. It used to be a web app since I thought that would be simpler than creating an entire other executable. Then I remembered how much I disliked web development. So I sucked it up, refactored my entire graphics pipeline, and built what you see before you. For the moment, we only have two features working. The renderer window, uh, where we can pan around and stuff, zoom, and also the asset browser. We can click around, see files on the server side, and as well as all the assets. Uh, and that's about all I have to show off there at the moment. Not very impressive on the surface, but I'm not too worried about it because most of the year of development was spent on stuff happening behind the scenes. Uh, I built an entire entity component system from the ground up that supports the generation of components <clears throat> at runtime. Uh, that took about five months to iron out. A networking system to support streaming of multiple assets at once. That's taken about three months to get really solid. Uh, doesn't mean there isn't the occasional bug here and there. And the, uh, uh, the remaining four months were spent on a combination of graphics, the web app editor, and the asset server database. And I threw out all the stuff from the web app. Stuff has only really started happening recently since I built up my code base up to the point where I can focus less on if the code will build or not, and more on adding more features. This all said, reaching this point has made me realize something. Uh, I do not have the, uh, I don't have the time to fully realize this vision. Give me, t uh, give me five years in a time bubble, and I would have an entire demo ready with features to spare and everything. Um, but I have realized that that is not possible for me to do as a solo developer. So on the 1st of July next month, I will be open sourcing the project. It has been the plan for a while to open source the engine, but originally I wanted to wait until I had released a few public demos built in the engine um, because I thought at that point, you know, the code should be somewhat put together behind the scenes, but, uh, I've realized something about myself and that's that I don't want to just hard code stuff into the engine. I want to do it right the first time. So I'm not going to release any demos until the engine is actually to the point where anybody can go in and use it and make them, uh, themselves without having to hard code anything. So uh, I'm going to need some help to get to that point. So for the next month, I shall be preparing. Uh, most of what I'm going to be doing is just coming up with uh, code style documents and then uh, refactoring all of my code so I'm not just being hypocritical and uh, putting the code base into a state that I'm actually comfortable with people seeing this right now.
Additionally, I'll be filling out the documentation on the GitHub and filing as many issues as I can find. Um, that way, people will actually be able to navigate the code base and help out and also coming up with like the tasks that need to be done. Finally, and most importantly, I'm going to figure out how to manage the, the relationship of the people helping out to the project itself, because eventually I do want to start a uh, game studio that will uh, use and maintain the engine. And I kind of feel like asking people to help out for free is like using people's goodwill to help to help start my own company. Unfortunately, I do kind of need the help at the moment, and I can't compensate people because obviously I am a broke college student and spent everything on a fancy mic. Um, but the plan at the moment is to get the engine to the point where we can get funding and then start the studio and then hopefully from there hire people from the community uh, into the studio. So eventually it should come around back, but I can't promise anything at the moment. Uh, so it's more of a statement of intention, but that is the plan. Now, I should probably talk about this game studio for a bit. Uh, I'm starting with my friend Alex, <coughs> and we have named it Psychosis Studios. Uh, we didn't actually mean to line it up with like the name of the uh, game engine, because it's uh, brain and not brain, but it, it kind of just works. We have a slightly outdated uh, video on the Game Studios YouTube channel talking more about our plans uh, for what we want to build with the studio, but the key takeaways that are that we are working on a space uh, RPG and that we eventually want to build it in Brain Engine. Though in the video, we do say that we are going to build it in Unity first, but we have since decided uh, not to because um, between work and this engine, I didn't really have enough time to split between them. So instead, it's going to be the driving force behind development because, you know, we want to make this game, so we need to get the engine to a point where we can use it for that. So if all of this is something that you're interested in, there will be a link to the freshly created Brain Engine Discord in the pinned comment. Uh, this is where we're going to be doing most of our collaboration outside of GitHub, uh, aside from GitHub. Um, so if you want to join in, that is where to go as well. So that's about all for this video. Um, expect the next update in a month when I finally open source the engine. And I'll kind of talk about all the things I had to go through to actually get it ready to be seen by the public. And until then, I'll see you guys around.